Following up tonight from Tuesday's City Council meeting in which a local builder and developer presented one idea for creating more affordable housing in Corpus Christi. Yeah, that proposal involves the use of manufactured homes in low income neighborhoods where builders have been reluctant to build any new conventional homes. Brian Burns has the update. This is one vacant lot in Flower Bluff where property owner and landlord Andy Taupin would like to place a manufactured home and he says it could help solve the lack of affordable housing in the city. These are the two and three bedroom manufactured homes Taupin is proposing to use. He says people could get into a new home like this for under 100000 His plan is something called a spot zoning variance and would be an experiment to see if manufactured housing is acceptable in these neighborhoods. At my own expense and without any governmental subsidy, I'm looking to build two homes as a demonstration of the safety and the aesthetic compatibility with the neighborhoods. This is another lot just off Baldwin near Crosstown where Taubman is seeking a zoning change. Taubman's proposal is aimed at infill or lower income neighborhoods where homes in poor condition have been torn down and more expensive homes would not likely be built. Some at City Council's public comment were mixed about allowing a zoning variance for Taubman's experiment. When the homes around are seventy or eighty thousand dollars, you can't begin to build a new home in that same area. And to change that zoning for one person, one time for one lot is not right. Flower Bluff residents we spoke with near one of the lots were also mixed about the idea. It's my belief that it's probably going to drop some of the property values in this area. The remanufactured homes. They're really nice. While the council may be far from making a decision, council member Rudy Garza says this might be viable and would not interfere with other city affordable housing projects. I think so. It's, there's no cost to the taxpayer. I mean, you've got somebody doing it on the private side. You're, yes, you're allowing a variance, but you're allowing a variance for a greater good. Brian Burns, 3 News.